We are back on North Dakota today with certified dog trainer Preston Van Loon and Rocky from Rock Solid Dog Training. And today we are talking about animal husbandry. Welcome back, Rocky. Take it easy. And Preston, you too. Yeah, thank you. It's good I, to be I back. think he's fairly comfortable in the studio. Don't he's you very think? relaxed. Yeah. He's very used to it. Yeah, he sat there and watched you because you were monkeying around with your treat bag for a while. And then all of a sudden he said, ah, the heck with it. These commercial times are too long. Let's talk about animal husbandry. We're not talking about getting the dog married off and out the door, are we? Not at all. Yeah. Uh, animal husbandry. <laughs> <laughs> he's so take relaxed. It, take it easy, Rocky. Um, animal husbandry has to do with the day-to-day care okay. and management of the dog. It's also called cooperative care because the dog is cooperating with you and its care. It has to do with anything such as grooming, cleaning the ears, trimming the nails, um, those kinds of things. Okay, now I asked you when you started working with him and I asked you about training, you know, some of the commands, but what about husbandry as far as taking care of the nails, the ears, the teeth, etc.? How old was Rocky when you started working with him on that? I started with him at a very young age yeah. so that he grew up being used to it. And so at this point in his life, he's very comfortable with what I do to his nails, mm -hmm. to his teeth, to his ears, and so on. And we'll demonstrate that. All right, we're down to three minutes. Time flies. You have got some, uh, some things you want to demonstrate as far as some of the care that you give to Rocky. Absolutely. First, with the uh, nails, sometimes we, we like to use these clippers here. Right. But I don't like using them because there's a quick in the nail. There's a vein in exactly. there, and we can't see that. And if you so, cut too short, it's painful. It's painful and yep. it can bleed, but I like to use what is known here as a Dremel. Okay. Rocky, up, sit. Okay. <laughs> He's like, me, what are we doing? <laughs> okay. So the Dremel is just like a little sandpaper at the sure. end. I turn it on here and uh, take one of Rocky's nails and just file it down. Okay. Or I could take one on this side here. So Rocky's used to this. We've been exactly. doing it for a long time. We just trim that nail down. How often do you do that? I do it probably once a month. Okay. Okay, or as needed. I just watch his nails okay. uh, as they grow. All right. Um, then another uh, possibility when it comes to husbandry is his teeth, the care of his teeth. So this uh, has uh, Hi. wipes in it to wipe okay. plaque off the teeth, but there's also. Is that a daily thing? It could be daily, okay. but probably weekly. All right. Um, but there's another way to clean his teeth, and that's with a dog toothbrush here. What's, uh, what's the difference? It's okay. got bristles. It's got bristles, and you could reach way okay. inside. Or you can use a little uh, a thimble-like thing with uh, bristles at the end. Now, when you use the thimble, do you put a little toothpaste on there for flavor, or do yep. you just use so, it raw? I have uh, some toothpaste here, which uh, helps with the gums. It's gum protection. And uh, it's for dogs, and I'll put a little on the end here. Does then, he fight you at all on these on these uh, hygiene things, or is he so used to it that he just he he's knows? used to the hygiene things? Yeah. But I try to find a toothpaste that tastes good okay. uh, for him. And so when I clean his teeth, I could put this little thimble-like thing here mm -hmm. on my finger, sit, and then I'll just take his teeth like this, and then rub his teeth. And all you the need way to get like all that. the way back, don't you? And I can go all the way back. He's used to this. It's a little awkward for him, mm -hmm. but I can clean his teeth and his gums, and he's used to that. All right. Okay. 30 seconds left, Preston. Anything else you want to wrap up as far as husbandry? Quickly, ear wipes. Yep. Helps clean the ears. It's like a little Stridex pad. Right. You exactly. take a little pad here and just rub the inside of his ears. You don't want to get too deep, I would imagine. Not too deep, no, and they're very clean. Mm -hmm. So husbandry is really important, though, because it helps the dog to relax when they go to the vet. You're not only taking care of your dog, but as you work with your dog, your dog becomes more relaxed, and uh, at the vet, they do much better, and they're not afraid. Well, and it's not as dramatic when they go to the vet, too, the, the dramatic teeth cleaning, things like that. If you take care of it on a daily or weekly basis, when they go to the vet, it's a lot simpler project. That's right. If you take go to the vet and the vet cleans the teeth, the yeah. dog will have to be under anesthesia, exactly. and then the vet will clean all the teeth that way. But Rocky's teeth are pretty nice and clean, and they're white. And, Look at that uh, smile. <laughs> so he's used to it. Preston, thank you so much. Appreciate it, Rocky. Thanks for being a great model. We're, uh, we appreciate you coming in once.